Hey, what is going on guys? So in this video, I've got four cool cyber spy tricks that you guys can do. And just a disclaimer, don't actually like do these to spy on people and like hack into their personal space and like invade their privacy. Once again, you guys already know my channel's about bringing stuff from movies into real life just for the sake of can it be done. So um, with that being said, here's my favorite projects um, that I think complement each other really well. They're all about tech and computers and stuff like that. And since you guys seem to like my last compilation video, um, I thought I'd try another. Also, this is a perfect opportunity for me to finish um, this other project I'm working on. Um, it's a hidden smoke machine, so it'll allow you to produce smoke out of thin air. It's gonna be so cool, but uh, I had a few snags in it. But um, while I finish up that video, I didn't wanna leave you guys hanging without anything. Um, so with that being said, let's get into this video. Hey, what is up guys? So today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to hack into a Mac computer. Now, I made a video like this a while back, um, but that video is like three years old now and I don't think it's very well done. I'm gonna revisit it. This trick is actually very simple to do and uh, it doesn't take any real hacking skills, but it looks super awesome when you do it. And uh, yeah, you can impress a lot of people. But please don't use this trick to do anything deceitful or hurt anyone. I'm just showing this to you guys because I think it's a really cool spy trick. And you could use this trick, like say if you have like a friend or a group of people, you could bet one of them that you could hack into their computer. They'll be like, no way, and then you'll do it and you can make some money that way. So yeah, let's get into this. As you can see, this computer is password protected. I don't know the Apple ID and have no way of recovering it. So the first thing you want to do is power down the computer. Next you want to power it on the computer and hold down the command S key. All right, now we're booted into single user mode. And from here, we can enter the codes to hack the computer. All right, so the first thing you want to type is M-O-U-N-T space minus U-W space slash. So mount space minus U-W space slash. And remember to add all the spaces or else it won't work. Uh, I'll put all the codes that you need to enter in the description as well. And then hit return. The next code you need to type is R-M space slash V-A-R slash D-B slash dot apple setup done and then hit return and now we can type the code to shut down the computer and that is shut down space minus h space now and now we can go ahead and turn back on our computer and now it will prompt us to create a new account um, so what we just did was actually to create a new admin account and now we can use this admin account to actually change the password of the other admin account. So now we just have to go through the whole setup process. Uh, you can just basically skip everything because we're going to delete this account anyway. And we can just add whatever information we want. So I'm just going to make this test. Account name test. Uh, new password. I'm going to just do JLated video. And now it's setting up our Mac. And boom, we're in. And if we go ahead and go to System Preferences and User and Accounts, you can see our test account is actually an admin. So we can go ahead and click the Unlock button and just type in the password, which is jlaservideo. And there we go, it's unlocked. So now we can go ahead and go to this admin, click the Reset Password button, Change Password, and there we go. We just changed the password of this account. So now we can go ahead. So now we can go ahead and log out of this account. Log out. And we can log into the main account. And using the password J laser video. We can hit return. And there we go, we're in. As you can see, we are successfully logged into the main account. This is an admin account, and we can go ahead and unlock it using our new password. And then we can go ahead and actually delete this account. And there we go, the password's changed, but there is no trace we were ever here. Oh yeah, and if you do this, it might ask you for this keychain login thing, um, but every time you enter the password, 
it won't say it's right because it needs the original password, but honestly you can still use the computer with this, just kind of drag it into the corner and it can sit down there and it won't matter. Yeah, as I said before, all the codes are down in the description. So yeah, you could just go copy them onto your phone notes or something for whenever you want to bet someone that you can hack into their computer. So today I have something really exciting to show you guys. This is probably one of my best spy tricks because of how easy it is to do. I actually had a lot of requests to do this video, so here's how to copy a fingerprint like a spy. So what good would this do for us? Well luckily it's 2016 and we have fingerprint scanners built right into our phones. So here's how to copy a fingerprint and use it to unlock a phone using only these very common materials. I'd say a total cost around $5. So first, grab a lighter, a hot glue stick, and some aluminum foil. This is going to form our fingerprint mold. First heat the glue stick just enough so it melts, then smear some onto a piece of foil. Now wet the finger you want to copy and press it down on the hot glue. The water will make sure the finger doesn't stick to the glue. Remember to not overheat the glue, or this part will be very painful. Hypothetically, this could be done when someone is sleeping because it only takes a few seconds to grab their print. I'm going to go ahead and make a few more molds just in case one doesn't work. Now once you've gotten the mold, it's time to make the print. You might be wondering, why can't we just use the hot glue print on the phone? Well, that print is actually a reverse print of the finger. All the grooves are ridges and vice versa. So we need to flip this print back. That's where the Elmer's glue comes in. Just spread an even coating that covers the fingerprint mold. Then let it sit for a couple hours or so. I prop mine up on its side to let all the excess glue run down. It should look completely clear when it's done. But if you look closely, you can see the thin layer of Elmer's glue on top. Now very carefully peel off this thin layer. This part is the hardest and takes some practice. Once you've peeled it off, you now have your print. As you can see, I'm deleting all other prints on this phone and adding only my right thumb and index finger. As you can see, my left thumb doesn't work. But when I use the fake print, it works right away. It might take a couple of tries, and if it doesn't work at first, try breathing on it to give it some warmth and moisture. As you can see, we have successfully bypassed the iPhone lock screen, using only some Elmer's glue, hot glue, and a lighter. So today we've got another spy device. We're going to learn how to make a really cool spy camera that will email or text you pictures when it detects motion. Best of all, this can be done for less than $12 and it can be set up in seconds. The secret to this project is an Android device with a camera. Now you might even have an old one lying around, in which case this project won't cost you a thing. Now if you don't have one, you're in luck because these things are very cheap. I bought this track phone for $12, including shipping. I'll throw a link in the description if you want to go check it out. Now, the cool part about this phone is it's off contract. So basically, just pay for as much as you need, and this motion camera doesn't take up that much data at all. Or if you're using this in an area with Wi-Fi, like at your house, then you don't even need to bother with that. It's basically just like a $12 iPod. So the first step is to set up your phone. Just log in and connect it to Wi-Fi and set up your plan and all that stuff. Then hop on over to the Google Play Store and download the app called Motion Detector Pro. I'll link that below as well. Once that's downloaded, open up the app and enter either your email or phone number, wherever you want to be contacted. Now we need to mount the phone somewhere. You can be creative with this, but remember it's a good idea to leave the phone plugged in so it doesn't die. So mounting in an area with an outlet is preferred. If you're trying to be sneaky about this, try cutting a small hole in a box and taping the phone to the inside. Then running a power cord into the box through the bottom. Now start up the motion detector and activate it. Now we're good to go. Now whenever someone walks in the shot, it will take a picture and email it to you. And there you go. I'm sure if you wanted, you can even rig this up to something like IFTTT and get the email to trigger all sorts of stuff. 
but I'll let you guys be creative with that. So by far, one of the most famous spy gadgets is the tracking device. Nothing sums up a spy device better than something that allows you to know a person's location at any time. So how easy is it really to track someone? Well today, that's what we're going to figure out. So you can keep an eye on me? Yes. Now before I begin, don't use this information for legal or moral purposes. This video is 100% hypothetical, and I'm not responsible if you guys actually go and do this. In fact, this video is as much about protecting yourself from spies as it is from spying. Alright, so with that being said, let's start off with ways to track people for free. Now, in this day and age, everyone carries around a phone, also known as a personal GPS tracker. So all we would need to do is get access to this. If you know the password, great. Then that makes this super easy. All you would need to do is install a GPS tracking app, like GPS phone tracker or something like that. Then go hop on your computer and you can now track them wherever they go. Now, if you couldn't get into their phone, then sometimes all you would need is access to your victim's email. If you could somehow get someone's Apple ID or Google account, then you could log on to iCloud and use the Find My iPhone tool. Or for Androids, you could use the Android Device Manager to find exactly where they are. It's really that easy. Now remember, this is a two-way streak, and your phone does the same thing. So make sure your phone and email have secure passwords. But if for some reason you need to track someone with only a few seconds to make your move, then you could just use your phone to track them. Just plan it in their bag or in their car, and you're good to go but make sure to turn on location services before you'd let someone drive off with it. Now obviously the most ideal method would be to have another phone for tracking. And you're in luck because you can pick up a track phone off contract for like six bucks. I'll link it down below. Then just set everything up and register it for 30 days and get a few megabytes of data as well. I think the total cost would be around $30. Then just turn on location services and we now have a second phone just for tracking. You could hide this anywhere. For example, if you know something the other person has, then you could just get an identical one and pull a little switch. Or my favorite method would be putting it inside foam football. And you now have a tracking device that can be deployed anywhere. James Bond would be proud. Well guys, there's how to make some super secret spy trackers. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, hit that subscribe button to be notified when I upload new videos. I've got a lot of cool stuff coming up, so uh, definitely subscribe to be notified when that all comes out. Also, if you have any other suggestions of cool projects I should do, drop them in the description below. You guys are the best, killing it with the support lately. Um, so keep doing that. And uh, that's all I've got for this video, so I will catch you in the next one.